history is being made. I think oh, history yeah. is constantly being made every by single, everybody. Every fucking day. Everybody's making history. Somebody's going to write about all the shit everybody did at some point, even if it's stupid. Mm, basically. And it's then they're going to take it out of the books and change it. Yeah, they'll change it. They'll, <laughs> you'll have a different story after that. Because nothing in the books is true anymore. How many times have they changed? Like, okay, let's, what you guys know a particular story that's been changed in the history books? Like, one in particular that's been, like, flipped several times? Pocahontas. JFK's fucking assassination. All right, what about it? Go ahead. Uh, People say it's like there was an explosion in his car or some stupid shit. I haven't read into that at all, but okay. I can believe it. And someone said that he was assassinated by the fucking government. I've heard that. And the Illuminati. Dude, 9-11 was also flipped. That same scenario. Government did it. My bad. I think I, br- I think I brought this up last time we did a podcast. Uh, the way the natives were treated in Canada have been heavily covered up. Yeah, you heavily did. You did talk down. about that. We talked about the differences, and like ours wasn't covered up. It was like trail of tears. Mm. We treated them like shit. But they tried to say that in the nicest way possible. We recognize it now, obviously, but for a long time we didn't, and even still in history books, like you said, it's not in there. We gave him Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I should have smoothed everything out. Everybody loves Oklahoma. Everybody loves Oklahoma. Fuck. Do they, though? I don't know. Are there a lot of <laughs> Are there a lot of uh, native spots, like parks and stuff in California, Danny? Uh, no, it's all scattered. Like there's everyone here. Okay. Yeah. We I have no idea what's a native in California. I meant more specifically like do you have like parks that have like Indian names or something like that? Because we have a lot here. Like, no, a, not at all. It's all constantly. like we got hella like. In my town, we have the Kumbia Indians, some stupid shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Something like that. Something like that. But it's just literally a tent, and that's it. It's just a tent. Every... That's, that's, that's yeah. crazy. Oh, like a teepee? Something like that. Fucking San Diego's a fucking metropolis everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. There's no one green place. It's just completely different from where I live. Everything is green here, man. Everything is green as shit. Where are you guys? I live in Georgia, so like I can walk outside and I could headbutt a pine tree immediately. Mm-hmm. Or, or I was just joking with rabbit. them about how it takes LA people a long ass time to drive home from wherever they're at. Yeah, like y'all could be ten blocks yeah. from home and it take like thirty minutes. Which is oh. madness. Cause here, here there's like there's either barely people on the road and you can count it like when they get out of their uh, factory jobs. Like yeah. roads are gonna be shitty between four and six, but like in places like Atlanta and stuff like that, roads are shitty between four and six. Mm-hmm. Like do not oh. fucking drive at all. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. And I feel like Can't LA move. is like that constantly all the time. It doesn't matter what time it is. Well, yeah. From my perspective, they fucking drop so much around there. The city's covered in smog. Can you confirm that, Danny? Is the city covered in smog? It's it's literally just a, like you know that thing where like you turn on your car in the garage to cool yourself. Oh yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it's like. You <laughs> you're outside for thirty minutes and you feel dizzy. Why are there so many people cloud. there? There's acres of just like factories and the fucking smoke. I try to stay out of LA. It's fucking carbon monoxide and the most plentiful of amounts. And it's stupid expensive to live there. Sure, they it's pay actually, really well, but like the health benefits of living there are not adequate with what I'm being paid nor where I'm living. We pay a lot less to breathe clean air, cleaner air, I should say. Los Angeles and the Inland Empire are both so crowded that, like, if anything really bad happens there, 
everyone's fucked. Didn't awful. your Xbox end up in a cornfield? No, okay, so here's what, happened. <laughs> here's what happened. I went through every precaution possible to make sure that my Xbox did not end up in a cornfield in case a tornado happened. So That's I got so all of my shit. I got all of my video game equipment and put it in a fucking bag and then put it in another bag in case it got wet and then I threw <laughs> it in a closet. And after the fucking tornado, the only thing I had left literally was my Xbox. <laughs> Survive. Dude, whose Xbox landed in a cornfield? I think it was my next door neighbors because our houses are connected. That's so terrible, man. <laughs> well, it was awful though. Holy it fuck. was like a F four too, dude. It was it was like three miles yeah, hour was, away it was from being crazy. An F5. It like made national news and everything. This shit was awful. I saw one tornado this summer and almost fucking died in it, but other than that, I have no experience. Oh yeah, didn't the sky turn green? Dude, yeah, yeah the sky it turned turns completely green. green. Like really green. It looked fucked up. I was really scared. Dude, I couldn't imagine. Like the hurricane that hit Benji's area went over my city. Like the like, whole thing went over, over the top. City. Like it just looked like a deep blue the whole time. There was no weird green. It was just like deep blues, then like a light blue off to the distance. But like when it hit him emerald fucking green dude it was scary Ugh. like it i seen the shit coming towards my house i fucking thought i was gonna die <laughs> i'm natural about that it was real. just creeps you out i meant to ask anyways you have music right planned for us this year what you have music planned for us this year yeah teen witch is coming back oh, like oh, yeah. oh fuck yeah in a month i have I have, I'm trying to get Killer Vessi on a song. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, like, okay. dead ass. And I'm trying to... Some features and stuff, I see. I'm just trying to get features so I can blow myself up. I'm, like, exposing myself right now, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but This will only get, like, 25 views. I still have all your old beats that you sent me. Oh, Odie, shit. I'm going to send those. A oh, lot yeah. of them are still like unused, so go right ahead. No, oh, yeah, and um, oh god, if I could just hit me up again, and I'm just trying to block him. <laughs> there it is. He's. I don't even want to talk about this. <laughs> no, he, he's fucking self-absorbed. He's a shit stain. I hate him. I'm having to blur his name out. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit his name out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Teen Witch so, is coming back. Like, yeah, stronger. Teen Witch is fucking... Like, what are you going to do? Drop some singles? You're going to I'm gonna make a big-ass album? No, yeah, I'm doing the album. That shit that was supposed to come out on Halloween is coming. Oh, and yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm I think that's it. Like, I think I'm just going to drop two albums so there's music and then just do nothing for a whole year again. <laughs> Here's the music, fucks. Here it is. Here it is. Since you want it. Oh, but like on the goth serious side, I have a show coming oh, next month. Yeah. You want to plug that on here? What do you mean? Go right ahead. Talk talk about that if you want to. Yeah, There's no date yet. Oh, okay, All right, that's fair. More details coming soon. <laughs> More details yeah, com coming, coming soon. Coming soon. Right. To be announced. Teen Witch, Goth Syria. Pay attention to those things. Pay attention. They'll be loving the little the track should be posting every two or three days. Oh hell yeah. On God Syria. Yeah. Yeah, fuck I used to have a huge listening base. Like my stuff would get like four thousand plays. And now barely barely gets like ten. I don't know what happened. So I'll be listening to like seven times, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, I see you on my <laughs> stat blog. I'm starting to get a lot more plays than I'm used to. I just don't even care anymore. Yeah, me neither. I'm like, here's a song, bitch. <laughs> Listen to it. Making uh, music is just fun. Mm -hmm. that's, that's that's If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it. Because at first yeah. when I started doing it, I had all these like potential ideas, and like this would do this, and then everything changes. Yeah, Not, everything always changes. Everything always changes, especially for a mind like mine and Odie's and yours. I don't know what Danny's structural personality is in that what? situation 
We all took a uh, personality test. <laughs> and we all, each three of us, got the same exact personality, basically. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And it's like a rare-ass personality type. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Like, only 3% of the population have that shit or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's something it's ridiculous. Something like that. And then but. Odie's is even rare. But, like, it's just... Whenever, whenever when I come up with something, it, the idea changes so much over the time period of like when I first had the initial idea. It's just yeah, like when you start out something, the end product is, can be totally different than what you started out with. But you're just as happy with it. It's because we yeah. always have unfinished ideas. Yeah. Yeah, and you said that we just have to structure them, bounce them off people, <laughs> yeah. and figure out what's going on. And then we just combine all that shit into the final project do you have like everything set in stone for teen witch danny or are you still building on it and coming up with new sounds i have all the beats ready and i have all like the lyrics ready and the vocal melodies in my head i just need a microphone but i don't know what microphone to get mm-hmm. i have an msl 770 it's pretty good i don't know if i should get like xlr or usb that's literally it I yeah. use XLR. I Me use too. USB. I hate audio interfaces, though. They suck sometimes. They're annoying. The yeah, one they're I have annoying. is a Behringer, and it's pretty good. I didn't like the like the focus rots, the scarlets, and all that such. I didn't yeah, really care for those. Those on. always fuck up and give you weird frequencies. But I actually went out and spent a bit of money and got something decent. Yep, you always get what you pay for. Don't go cheap when Are you come... For the music I recorded guys. Fall in Love with an iPhone. Really? Yeah, I just... That's dope. Post, post-affected the shit out of it. That's crazy uh, as fuck. Samsung gang, fuck iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're in a losing bracket. Hmm? I think you're one of... You're one of one in that. No, <laughs> no, no. Right now you are. <laughs> yeah. We're still superior. Y'all gotta catch up. I don't see you how. You guys notice that people clown on you for having an older iPhone? <laughs> Even though you have an iPhone? Like, they'll have a Samsung, and but if you have an iPhone 6 or 5 or something like that, they'll be like, yeah, you're fucking poor. <laughs> you're fucking <laughs> poor, you got a 6? <laughs> fuck you, bud. You got a 6? No. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> Danny, what do you have? I have an iPhone 7 Plus. Okay. I have an XR. I'm the broke boy of the bunch. I have a. Success. I really don't think iPhones are trash. I just don't like the the interface. I'm not used to it. I'm not good with it. I can't type for oh. shit on there. I had a four and a five for a long time, and I just lo- really loved the interface. And then I was a broke boy for a little bit, so I had to have cheap Samsung phones. And I was like, ah, this is okay. Then I got, I just got tired of it, especially when it would tell you like to turn down your volume. On my particular phones, I, I had it would, option off. Bro, I'd turn it off and it'd still tell me to turn my volume down. Like, yeah. dude, fuck this phone. <laughs> the iPhone doesn't give a shit about your ears. Turn that shit up. Blast it. Throw in your AirPods. Fuck it. Shit. I think iPhone has such big popularities because they don't make cheaper versions of their best phones. Samsung makes a lot of cheaper versions of the actual good phones, and then people are like, Samsung sucks. Samsung's also a much bigger company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're in the bridges. Bridges, anyway. If y'all know. see me, I'm not on camera for a minute. But Samsung's on. always been down with the tech. That's why I like Samsung. And I don't like paying for everything because I'm a broke boy and I don't I don't like iPhones. That, that's why. Well, I just hopped in this payment. I'm going to run with it, okay? <laughs> run with it. <laughs> Plus, the pictures you, are fucking amazing. Sorry to cut you off, Danny. No, like, have you guys heard uh, Chainsaw by Blade? I want to say yes. I do too, but I, I've heard so many Blade songs in the past couple of days, I, I'm not sure. Apparently, he recorded that on a track phone. What? There's One of those question. fucking, like, pay to use phones. What fucking song is that? That's sound like a crazy. Yes, what the fuck? There's an unreleased song of his that I listen to all the time that sounds like it's recorded on a fucking laptop speaker. <laughs> Look up Chainsaw right now. I'm gonna play an excerpt right now. You guys heard it. It's there. <laughs> it's literally called Blade. In the past, I would re record through a webcam mic. 
or something and try to make it sound good. I know. So Dude, I recorded I recorded through this one one time and it had a really cool effect. If you could throw some reverb on it and kind of like cut it down, it'd be a crazy backtrack. I don't yeah. know. It's just how well you can mix. I feel, I feel like that's in every case. It doesn't matter what program you use, what mic you use. As long as you know what you're doing when you're mixing, it does not matter. Oh, do you remember my first mixes that sound like I was recording on a, a shit stick? <laughs> a shit <laughs> stick. <laughs> just holding it out. Mm hmm. A physical object. Fucking, no, you got way better at mixing over the past little bit. Everybody in here in this podcast has gotten way better at music since I met them. Not me. Hopefully. Yeah, just send me everything. Hey, bro. <laughs> Don't talk about. <laughs> I'm gonna bleep yeah, that out too. Mafia is gonna kill us. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna kill us. I'm gonna have to bleep that, that out. Bleep that. That's two things you gotta bleep, Charlie. God damn it. <laughs> so many things I gotta cut out of this podcast already. And they're not even inherently bad things. They're not. They just the public doesn't need to know. <laughs> the public doesn't need to know. Sharing too many secrets. Got to tone it down a little bit. Somebody, somebody 15, will say 15, something, 15, and then fuck. That's it. Missiles go off. Countries go. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stock market crashes again. Mm-hmm. Government shuts down. Oh wait. Wait. Yeah. Dude, apparently the FDA isn't checking food anymore. Yeah. So you gotta wash. You better wash your shit, and, apparently and don't Whole buy foods, cantaloupes. Whole Foods been lying oh. about their organic shit, so be careful, you organic people. I knew that was coming. Mm-hmm. Just grow your own damn food. Just, uh, you go to jail for that now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just move to Canada. Fuck, I gotta bleep that out too. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I'm about to move to Malaysia and start a little culture. Malaysia. Mm -hmm. That's where drug dealers move or people that oh, fuck, I don't wanna die. Or like a lot of people that <laughs> sold and oh got life. Bitcoin money for uh -huh. it. That's where they go with their Bitcoin money. Oh shit. Or that too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, going. where's your dream place to retire and move to? <laughs> Fucking Malaysia over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I'm moving to Pennsylvania this year. Alright. Oh for real. Damn, you're gonna be yeah, for that. <laughs> All the way from coast to coast, holy fuck! You'd be on my yeah, side I've... now. You yeah, I'm like gonna half a day away from us. I'm gonna move in with my girlfriend. Dude, yeah, you take a lot of flights out. I think that's really dope that that's you get out fire. there so much. Fuck yeah, it. and it's like fucking cheap. And I really want to like meet up with a lot of artists in like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. Yeah, you got a good Where? connect out there. There's a lot yes. of good people up there in New England, artist wise. <laughs> Also, like, Underground Underdogs does a lot of shows in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're in his guess. You like, with have to travel, like, to get there if you want to go to one now, because, like, the ones that they're holding near you are, like, two hours away or something like that, huh? Yeah. Unfortunate. But now it's like, Eastern Time Zone, gang, that's pretty dope. Dude, yeah, join, in, join in the club. Yeah, that's the best time zone. Best time zone, for yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, dude, it gets dark at 430 out here now. <laughs> yeah. I'm not winter mode. Winter mode. You guys don't even fucking get winter down where you live, Danny. What the fuck? No, it just, it's just summer, and then maybe and rain. Then, <laughs> and then and maybe a, summer, and then a rain. It's a season. Rain. I love it. What the fuck? We have all it the was... seasons, but they swirl into each other the entire time. Our seasons only last about a week, <laughs> unless it's winter. Like it was, and it hits in spurts because you'll have like, yeah. like yesterday it was 25, and then you'll have a couple 55 days maybe the next week. Then it'll shoot back down to 33. Dude, last week it got to like 70. Yeah, it did. It got, it was like 68 here. Yeah. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Especially for the winter time. It gets pretty cold here during the winter time, actually. Usually. I would love to try out California weather for like a week, but I feel like I get tired of it. Dude, I feel like I would get, You'd like, get I could sick pissed. of it. I would get really pissed. Have you got sick of it? I'm already sick of it. That's why you're moving to Pennsylvania. <laughs> There's like no humidity in California, is there? No, it's but dry, it's like really dry. dry. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I would fucking, I would have some sort of skin attack or something. Fuck that. Dude, yeah, I'd I mean, probably... <laughs> Have, have like an asthma attack. I don't even have asthma. There's so much humidity here. 
It's so humid in the south. That's Dude. why I have so many oh. gnats and mosquitoes. The oh, further God. you go down. Fuck the gnats and mosquitoes, bro. I used to be outside playing basketball sometimes, do a layup and swallow like a 15 mosquitoes or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's so it's true, like that though. Up here, too. It's, it's true. swarms and droves. You'd be walking down the street, you get attacked by gnats, start looking like Kevin Hart on the one comic. Comedy <laughs> thing. Golly. Fuck. We got so spruce beetles here, and they come in the <laughs> summer, and they're massive, and they're fucking horrifying, and they make really loud buzzing noises, and that's what you gotta deal with. We got cicadas summer. and shit that scream all them day. Yeah, like that's what I'm talking about. It's like big screaming beetle type bugs. Like I fucking hate that. I realized that was a Pokemon before I was a, a real bug. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like I did that with some animals, because. I was a dumb kid. <laughs> Dude, I also used to think... I also used to think when I was a kid that when winter came around, all of the insects died, and then when it became <laughs> spring again, they all came back. That's exactly when I was Just a kid, the insects. That's it. That's the only thing that died off. All of them. Just when fucking. I was a kid, I used to think that uh, if you got a cold, if you gave your cold to somebody else, you would get rid of your cold. <laughs> Holy so shit. So I'd try to get other people sick in oh school God. and I'd be sick. Have to quarantine nobody as a child because he's just a sick man. Oh, he's just got a kid in the corner coughing in his face. It's kind of in a chokehold. Take Fuck my misery head. away. <laughs> oh, God. You get kicked out of school. Fuck, I wonder what that phone call to your parents would be like. <laughs> yeah, in Canada. In Canada? Here it'd be like, put your kid in a, sh- in a straight jacket. We don't want him here anymore. Mm-hmm. He's moving schools. Also, probably be like the same here. Before you send him home. <laughs> yeah, and they'd spank you and send you home. I don't think they. I don't think they do that anymore. Do they do, they do where I live? They okay. Mm-hmm. It's a K through maybe 12 it's a school. maybe it's a county thing. I don't know. A K through twelve, and mm-hmm. they still oh the whole thing. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Holy. I'd be suing if I was man. eighteen yeah, and they started hitting me with a paddle. I would do something deliberately to get hit by the paddle and then sue. Dude, they've had the. Same I graduated like from a K years. through twelve, and fucking. It's weird that you say that because they have the they have the tendency to discipline the high schoolers as if they're middle schoolers. Mm-hmm. And fucking, well, you're fuck. right. I wouldn't sue if they did that. Luckily, they never did that in any grade here. That like just points more towards the militaristic like schooling that we've had forever. How stupid yeah. it is. Yeah, man. If you miss too many days, you get a pile on down there. Dude, I always <laughs> hated like, dude. Just let me go to the fucking bathroom. Fuck you. Fuck off. I will piss everywhere. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Fuck school. Right, Danny? I'm so mad. Dude, yeah, I dropped out. I fucking dropped out. I was having to, out to go to the bathroom. That was terrible. What made you decide not to go back to school? Uh, school? I would say the people, but I just, I just don't want to, like, follow what the government wants me to do. Word. You know, I, I totally know a lot of people that. that didn't finish it, and for good reason, and they're still successful. Yeah, really, like, you don't really need to go to school. <laughs> I feel like school just trains you for a work schedule. Yeah. Yeah. You need That's a plan if you don't have school, though. That's the only thing. Yeah, you actually have to use your brain. Uh-oh. Can't just stay in the system. <laughs> Can't just stay in the system. You gotta break your way out. We always talk about school on this podcast. Maybe because it's so traumatizing. It's so traumatizing. <laughs> I, Danny, do you have like a particular memory that's fucking haunted you from school or like made you laugh or anything? Uh, I pierced some kid's lip in school. <laughs> I gave what him a lip. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with it. It was fucking remedial math, so no one gave a shit. And <laughs> it was shit like, yo, I hear you do piercings. Like, no, I don't. But I. <laughs> But I have the stuff right here. I can do it. I, I, I got you. Let me hook you up. And I did it, and he, I like hit a blood fucking vessel or something, and he kept squirting blood everywhere. And the teacher was like, "Hey, keep it down." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just like, hey, if you're gonna die, do it quietly. Shh. Yeah. It's like silent library. The rest of us. He still has it to this day. 
That's crazy. I would have kept it, it like, too. Wow. One of the crazy things I did was there was me and I was a sophomore and there was a senior and I had this funny idea to put creatine in the hair dryers because oh they my. were because they, they were ha- they were hand dryers but they moved them up so you could dry off your whole body if you're sweaty or whatever and they would turn up so I turned the nozzle around and put creatine in the cold one because I understood what would happen if heat hit it okay because I was not a fucking idiot the senior took it put it in the hot one okay Oh God. Uh, okay. One dude went to mine, turned over, hit the thing, he got hit with creatine. Fucking hilarious, right? <laughs> Other dude did it, he hit it, he got hit with a little bit of creatine, but it heated up too quick and then it started to burn. Fuck. <laughs> the fire alarm went off <laughs> and the entire school was evacuated. Holy shit. <laughs> Good God. They sent out a two week investigation. And then finally somebody, I think, snitched or said something about me or something like that. And then, like, an officer walked up to me and threatened me with jail time. And me as a sophomore, I was like, all right, I don't want jail time. I did it. What are you going to do? I got three days ISS. That was literally it. I don't even think they can give me jail time. I don't think. No, what Jeez. the fuck? That's just funny. You it was hilarious. I had to pay the dude back for the creatine, too, but whatever. Jeez, I think the worst thing that ever happened to me in school was after that tornado, we had to share a fucking school with a different high school, and we had to go like half a day doing not shit. Like it was awful. The rest, like the the second half of a year, going to a completely different school and not learning a damn thing for no reason whatsoever. I hated that. That's Southern schools for you, but. We would go to school from like 8 to 12, and then the other high school would come in. What about Lil Uzi saying he's going to quit music? I did. Yes, I did. He wished it was, no, he's not. He wishes it was 2013. Yep. As a person yeah. that has watched many ploys in the mainstream music, I'm pretty sure it's just to be like, hey, look, I'm I'm promoting my music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let everybody talk about me real quick. Just like, I don't even want to talk about it because I don't like talking about the headlines that you're they're being made for you to talk about but like mm-hmm. logan paul saying he's going to be gay for a month that's literally for you just to talk about he <laughs> literally <laughs> made that so you would just talk about it yeah, that's it about there's that. no real reason for it at all it's it's stupid it's crazy logan paul would be like i think i will try out this homosexuality <laughs> i think i'll give it a go as soon as he sees enough people crying he's gonna drop eternal i take and then the whole world's gonna go dumb yeah, that's what it's just happens. it's just crazy. Like if you once you get to a certain level, and I think I think I saw it with Kanye first. Maybe, maybe it was from. Kanye first. Maybe it was somebody before him. But I saw it with Kanye first. It doesn't even matter what you do. Like most of the time, it has a negative connotation behind it. But it's to draw you in. It wants you to be upset. It wants you to feel because happy things don't affect people anymore. Really. It's more of that something tragic back end has to be happening. Like Lil Uzi quitting music. Oh, no, Lil Uzi, no, don't quit yeah. music. And it's just going to pull all these. I don't know, man. <laughs> you just get to a certain point, you can just do it. Jump up to number one on the billboard. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. He's, about, he's probably already jumped up. Yeah. They're like, no, we got to outplay his music so he thinks he's too good to quit. <laughs> When he already knows he's just fucking with us. It is going to boost back in sales because you know all the music's not deleted. Mm -mm. He's got a record deal. People don't think like that. There's so many examples of that. So many examples. You can go back to 6 9 6 9 in jail right now? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck if I know. I don't care. (laughs) Stupid. The whole thing was stupid. That, <laughs> that, that's the only good thing that came out of that. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, how do you think he's doing right now? Like, what the fuck? He's probably doing he's fine. Doing he's probably, yeah. He's, he's, doing, just, he's probably he's amazing. Doing Three good. meals a day, nice bed by himself. He probably gets nice to record. PC cell. He's probably chilling with Bobby Schmurder right now. Fuck. He probably has a laptop, but he can't use social media. <laughs> just, just dumb shit. People still sending yeah. him opens and shit. They probably got him a mic in there. And they're working on that. Didn't somebody? 
somebody there was like a news article somebody sent him money like that was famous and they're like oh shit i want to say i this made me miss quote maybe like chris brown nope it was um j cole j j cole Cole sent him money yeah and everybody was like oh fuck j cole why you sending money six Uh, this is (laughs) stupid it's just stupid shit man (laughs) I don't know. They just want you to talk. And like, how do you want to talk about this on the podcast except for just one time to nip it in the butt? Because we're not going to cover stupid stories like this no on here. I, I want to talk about things, things like where you about. live. I want to hear interesting shit like your music. Uh, did you fucking have ramen earlier this week? Tell me about it. I don't just just <laughs> more personal things. I don't, I don't give a shit what's going on worldwide. It, is, it does it has nothing to do with me on m- most levels. Speaking of ramen, I got my girlfriend to try Oriental ramen for the first time, and she yeah. fucking loved it. Yeah, it changes her life. <laughs> Completely changes her life. She was like, "I've never eaten ramen again," and I was like, "Here, try these." She was like, "Oh fuck, where'd you get these?" They were in my bag for about two weeks, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy I follow from Russia who grew his own mushrooms for ramen, and then he grew his own like snow peas and everything else and then made his own dough for the noodles and everything Jeez. else and the bowl looked insane like classic anime ramen straight up like right in your face <laughs> like it looked fan fucking tastic dude who was that yeah. guy that came out with that music video all about fucking ramen noodles and he's like getting pushed down the street in the fucking shopping cart with a bunch of ramen noodles it was it was actually a fire I song dude, I <laughs> seen that. it was actually a fire song but okay I i'm gonna i'm gonna find that and play an excerpt now All right, there it was. They saw it. <laughs> All right, I don't know what the fuck it was. We'll talk. <laughs> this is so dope. Oh my god! What? It serves no relevance now. <laughs> it's just gonna be there. <laughs> it's just gonna be it's there. Gonna be there. I hope you guys it's so funny that to shit. think about structurally. Danny, what? Do, do you fuck with ramen at all? Because I've never been a ramen man. No, nah, I fucking. That's like my goddamn. It's in my blood. I eat that yeah, shit boy. like every day. Fuck. What's recommend me good kinds right Moroccan? now, right here? Chipotle. Dude, I fuck, I I fuck with Moroccan cups. Yeah, Moroccan's the shit. All right. <laughs> I'm just I, I I can't get into it. You have you had like all of them? I mean, you probably don't like. Uh, processed food that's made to kill you but you know hell no, no we're, we're eating cancer cups out here but who gives a shit <laughs> Dude, i literally saw one that was like cheddar cheese that, that was it and like if you opened it, it you literally just made mac and cheese mm-hmm. that's literally what you were making then why label it uh i don't know because <laughs> they can <laughs> just because they can it's the reason the dog can lick his own balls because he can he can <laughs> exactly <laughs> That's probably the reason for the news stories and everything else, too, mm-hmm. which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This Processed is re- food is garbage. My bad, Danny. No, I just said this is real slugged up right here. This is, is. real slugged up. This is this is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> no structure, wherever the fuck we go. Dude, random thought. I random thought. Elephants look at us the same way we look at fucking dogs or, like, cats. They think we're cute as shit and they want to play with us. Or own us, and that's crazy to think where, about. Did you where you you read this? Yeah, I just I was just on the internet looking at random shit, and there were like ten facts. I bet you didn't know about animals. I hope that's a true fact. Yeah, that's cool. Elephants, Elephants are really intelligent. So Dude, I yeah, they're doubt pretty it. and pretty smart fuckers. Those in they played a uh, a group of scientists played uh, a call of a dead elephant, like near where the tribe of elephants hung out that she was from and then all the elephants came and they like started wandering around for like days and days looking for it like they recognized the cry yeah and they did a, they did another test with another herd but they used the same cry from the other herd no effect they didn't they didn't think anything of it they didn't come it. around dude, yeah they're really smart, smart. crazy dude sometimes if an elephant gets depressed as fuck it'll just wander off until it dies yeah i knew about that that's crazy yeah it doesn't want to. Ha- it doesn't want to make all the other elephants sad. It's like, yeah, fuck like it, if, it's over. If their calf gets guys. eaten by a bunch of lions or something and just depressed as shit, like it'll just die. That's that's it's wild. Sad, dude. That's insane. They have like emotional, like morals. 
It's weird. Dude, I seen one video where it, they were actually like captive elephants and they had a big pool in the middle and the fucking baby one fell in the water and the two parents literally like freaked out and like tried like they like literally went in the water and got it out because they thought it were drowning crazy like they started like yelling at everything they're like oh fuck he fell in go get him <laughs> <laughs> i was just like holy shit that reminds me recently i read that dogs aren't intelligent scientists figured out that dogs aren't aren't as smart as we think they are that pigeons, cats, several other things are way smarter than dogs. They're just obedient animals for the most part, but they're they have not... a pretty impressive memory trick, and that's it. Like, yeah, that's it. They have incredible memories for food. I think they're just good at bonding, <laughs> yeah. so they understand what the fuck you're trying to say without really knowing. That's why you point at something. They're like, "Okay, we'll go do this." And, like some dogs absolutely suck though but oh, like yeah. all most cats are like even if your cat doesn't want to chill with you it's still like it's a pretty good animal it's not going to be ridiculous i've never some seen a ridiculous more. cat to be honest your cats are fucking awesome but my sister's cat is ridiculous in what way you, uh he shits like <laughs> He rage shits in the basement. Like, if you do something to him, he'll get mad and he'll shit in the basement. <laughs> and, like, no matter how many times they fucking trick him into not doing it or, like, set up traps for him when he shits, he'll keep shitting. Jeez. And he loves fucking weed, too. I don't know why, but if you open a bag of weed around that cat, he'll try to eat it. I'm pretty sure a lot of cats like weed. Yeah. Kitty Kush likes like cat 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 like weed. I think cats are druggies, dude, because they love catnip, and that shit fucks them up. Ripple doesn't like weed, but he shits in the bathroom if you go in the bathroom. <laughs> like earlier, earlier than I was brushing my teeth, and I just heard a plop, plop. <laughs> I just heard him fucking shitting in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah, he, he makes me laugh because he's just, I don't know, he's weird. I think he's in here. Let me yeah. get him. Let me he's see if I can cat. maneuver this. I have a bunch of weird cats that like hang out in front of my apartment building every morning. I have a cat named Balmain, and she's like the most chill fucking cat ever. She'll just come and sit on your shoulder and like not do shit. I always had dogs. I don't know about any of you guys. I have a but... shit ton of dogs, dude. I have like six. What about Jeez. you, Danny, with pets? Like, have you ever had like. I have a cat called Moon, and he's, he's wiki and like me because I forced him. <laughs> Where he's a little fucking ritual doer. Yeah, he's a ritual cat. He looks Look like that actually. He's, like a, cat, he's like a what the fuck is that cat's name? Tabby. Look at Leafman's cat. Dude, he's so like I, the camera doesn't do justice at all. He's so stocky. He's a big boy, man. Oh god, yeah, he's a big cat. Did he hit you he's with like, that left hook? You feel like you got hit with Mike Tyson's right hand. <laughs> he's almost a year old. And he's half wild, too. He's a, yeah, he's a half um, Egyptian Mao mixed with uh, something coon. I forget Man what coon. it is. Mancoon. Yeah, he's a Mancoon. He's sleepy as shit. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, but I really want to ask, like, didn't fucking Jin Zhang fucking notice you? Or yeah, he, whatever. He, he liked a couple of my songs on SoundCloud. He gave one a comment, too, one time. He blew up so fast. I know. Yeah, he's getting it. Was that makes a lot of Tracy beats? Like, he one day, he was just, like, a really well-known underground producer. And then, then he, like, blows up to that next level producing for, like, little Tracy and all that. Who do y'all think the next producer to blow from the underground is? I have no idea. I have no idea at all. Too hard to say right now. There's so many of them nowadays. I can't yeah. name all of them. Way too many. There's so many of them popping off in like different areas because you have like ambient trap music and then you have like these very hollow 808 hitting beats that are getting a lot of attention. And then you have yeah. uh, acoustic music, like acoustic mixed with trap is still getting a lot of attention. And a lot of people are yeah. just 
hitting those three lanes heavy. Dude, I hate when people get away with these half-made beats, man. They have like three sounds and then... Dude, as long as they it. smack, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Who's an artist that you think should, like, been blown up by now? A producer or artist? Hmm. That's a good mm. one. I'll have to take a minute to think about that. Producer artist, fuck. I'll let you guys cook up an answer for that. Give me a minute. Okay, I got one. <laughs> Formerly known as Bummy Boy, but not as human. Ah, uh, not as human. We're gonna fucking make songs together. Bro, yeah, that's my dude. That it's is my dope. dude. Um, He's fucking cool. If. Honestly, I love his mixing. I don't give a shit about like if he wasn't using auto tune correctly or if this was there or whatever. Like the way he mixes his voice into stuff is so really nice. unconventional, but it's so nice to hear. But like I know like yeah. most people aren't gonna like fuck with it because it's just not. I don't. It's not like a normal sound because people are gonna want a certain like mix and whatever. I guess whatever else. Because he's not. He's not getting the attention that he should be getting on his stuff. He should be so much Mm -hmm. more than he already is. Fuck. Not even on Bummy Boy anymore. No, not at all. He's nine. I mean, the evidence is there though. You see how fast his page is growing though. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. He's. I mean, he just re. He just became not as human. Like what? Maybe four or five months ago. I don't know. Maybe it hasn't even been that long. Maybe. Maybe. But there's a lot of guys up there that are really talented. Like Oscar Peanuts just changed his name to something I can't remember. And like all the people up in Matchtown have a lot of Hell yeah. good stuff. It's just like um, when I used to listen to uh, Anti World a lot. Like Ghosty, yeah. Really, like Ghosty was really good. Like Ghosty should have got a lot more credit than he was he was getting. I know, Can we I know talk s- about the world, dude? Yeah, go ahead. I'm making. Oh shit! I forgot. I have a feature with Chris Bale. Okay. Okay. And uh, it's gonna be produced by Save. If you know who it is, I'm not familiar. I've seen the name, but I've never listened. And I'm trying to get Ego Mackey on a track. Oh what? shit! Okay, I don't think he's an anti anymore though. He's not. They had a full. Yeah. Thing. I don't even want to get into that because I don't know the details. Yeah, no, a lot of those play. dudes are just incredibly talented people with the yeah. different styles they're hitting on. I don't even want to put them in a genre because they don't. No. They don't deserve a genre. No, they're their own person. You could call it an alternative something, but you can't even really base it on that either because it's just out there. You know what I mean? Doing like way different than whatever. When I say alternative, I mean it in the context of like they're doing things that nobody else really does. Yeah. Speaking of alternative, I was thinking about taking an old beat that I've already used for a song and just redoing the whole damn shit and calling it an alternative reality remake. I always say I want to do that, but I never get around to it. Because sometimes the shit you make in the past, you go back to it and you just know that your talent level is way higher than it was then and you could do so much better which nothing is set in stone i don't know why people are so scared to go back and redo something yeah especially when you're this early on in some of the stuff we're doing it's okay to make something completely different because maybe that'll completely lift off and then you can actually start making the stuff that people will be hearing but until you even get up to that level where people consistently listen to you and want you to make music you just gotta keep throwing shots in the dark like I feel like if you're, I don't necessarily think consistency with a certain style is what someone should be doing. I feel like they should be in three or four different styles and just get good at those and start hitting on every single one of those. Hit hit it until somebody listens to something and then, above all, do what you like. Dude, listen to our music, dude. Every single one of our songs is different. None of my songs (laughs) sound the same. All different, man. We just pull inspiration from every single place we can. I also think that contributes to the fact that we don't necessarily get to be a, a beat chooser. Yeah. Because we don't, we don't have the free field. I mean, we could buy from anybody we wanted, but when it comes to, like, if you're actually in, in there, 
people <coughs> people usually just send you beats. I'm assuming, maybe not. I don't know, but in some cases, I'm sure people, people are just like, "Here's a beat. Let's let's make this happen." In our cases, we don't get that. Mm-mm. It just kind of comes to you. Or yeah. we gotta make our own shit. Yep, mm-hmm. that's the that's the way to go, though. Fuck. What's your guys' opinion on trap metal? Trap metal. <laughs> trap metal. All right. Yeah, bro. It's the most head-ass term, but. <laughs> Um, I like, uh, let's see here. There was one song I heard, dude, who was it? It was from, uh, Zilla Comet. Oh my God. No, he just changed his name. Fuck. I mean, the closest person I can think for trap metal was like Eric North. Eric North? Oh yeah. Yeah, sort of. But I'm trying to think of like... Who was doing? Who was actually doing like trap metal? I think I know who you're talking about, but I can't think of his name. It was Max P, for which it's what Max P is now. He has a song out that sounds pretty like trap metal, but I haven't heard anybody that's been what's using the, what's like his name? Gucci Papa Slim or something. So, like something that? like that. It's like metal. It's like metal goons or something like that. It's it's the closest I've heard anything. But I haven't heard anybody that's been like outly like sampling Slayer or anything that has maybe. But I haven't. I, I just haven't heard anything. God, I think Kami's music is pretty wild. I, I took my hand at it back in the day, but I I wasn't into making it, even though I'm. Metalhead, kind of. There's a lot of things going on in those beats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Danny, what have you been listening to that's trap metal wise? Because I'm not educated, apparently. Me neither. Uh, I've been listening to City Morgue, Drown Millie, and Nine Four Brizzy. Let's see. Uh, okay. Or uh, Eric North, of course. Yeah. I wouldn't call cy- like cyber trap metal. Yeah. But he's just sometimes he yells. And young flex. Yeah. What about it's okay to cry? Flex. Yeah. I okay to that. cry. Yeah. He's, I, his some of his stuff. Yeah, some of his older stuff like uh shit, what was the name of that tape? Sinagami Starship. Yeah. That one's goes crazy. Like he does like actual metal vocals. His shit's so upbeat. It's fucking insane. <laughs> Speaking of that that uh that new song that Kerwin Frost dropped that was ten K Cash and uh Mad Ox. Ox. Complex wrote an article that said Mad Ox was experimenting with Screamo flow on the oh, song. Uh. <laughs> he literally if by best definition of what he was doing, it was a DMX esque growl. <laughs> that was it. There was that not was screamo yeah. flow. I don't even know what a screamo flow is. Me neither. There's no such thing as screamo. That was that was like a derogatory derogatory. I can't even fucking speak anymore. That was a <laughs> bad term for um, hardcore metalcore mm-hmm. music. Anything that had. Uh, a fucking I can't even think of like that vocalist's name. I'm so There was a point in time right when you were like 13. Holy shit. Where like if you would say screamo in front of somebody that listened to like metal, they would get really mad at you and like correct you. Yeah, that's what I just did. I think I think like, music's about to start going back into the um boom bap era cuz a lot of these BPMs are starting to match up. Oh wait. Uh, I just remembered. I've been listening to. Do you know who Zodiac is? Yeah. Zodiac. I don't even know how you say it. Yeah. Like he he's doing a lot of boom bap stuff, and people are starting to follow it. I personally don't like it because I think it's like really oversaturated. Yeah, I think it's dope sometimes, but I can't listen to it all the time. Yeah. It's something I have to jump into every now and then. You have to be a really good storyteller. Because yeah. I don't care about you talking about normal things in a boom bat beat. It's too long. It's too monotonous. I don't want to hear and that. And you have to be able to, like, hit your syllables on point. Like, you can't be off beat with boom bat. <laughs> Not really. 
Not I want to see all. a story. That's why I salute to those boom bap rappers oh. because they have to they have to know what they're doing. That's what Headlock yeah, kind of does. <laughs> yeah, Headlock is pretty deep with his. But I I can't. I just can't. He can go on for a long time in any type of beat for the most part. I'm, I have to be super selective. Mm-hmm. I have to have a melody. I think I'm addicted to the the melodic side of it. That's why. I, that's too. why I don't understand all these bare bones beats. Yeah. Like, how are you it, so confident? So yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you mean bare bones beats? Just like, like beat by Jeff beats. <laughs> like, is that what you're saying? I'm saying like beats are basically like an 808. And that's it. Like Let it's me literally just 808. <laughs> like a plug beat. Yeah. Not, Not even necessarily a, bu- beat, a plug just... beat because a lot of plug beats now have really great melodies in the back mm-hmm. and they're melodic. Yeah, some hit. Some hit really good. We're talking about something with like a delayed hi hat, a, a loud ass clap. The or a worst, kick. yeah, the worst kick humanly possible, and it's weak mm-hmm. as hell. Heavily distorted. And it's just... it's it's loud, but it's weak. And the 808 just smacks you every time like a brick wall. It doesn't even matter. And the dude's yelling about selling fake Supreme on the block or something. I don't know. Either that or he's talking just like this. (laughs) (laughs) And the fucking beat smacking. Something like that. I can't get into that. I've always been addicted to the melodic side of music. Anybody who knows my music will know that. I think Glitter Pop's where it's at right now. Especially like your old stuff, Odie. Like even yeah. old stuff all the way up. Like you can, there's so much structure. There's depth. There's there. It's it's ridiculous how some of your beats like go in and out of some tunnels. Like you feel yeah. like you're diving in yeah. and out of water. For those and the newer stuff I've been working on is even more because I got like sick of making trap sort of styled beats. So I just started making like different types of music. What are you working on right now? What am I working on right now? Yeah, you ain't got to talk about it too much. You can just you can take a little bits couple, and pieces. A couple side projects with more like live instrumentation rather than like synthesizers. and Just like more of a sound experiments, I would say. I think being experimental is always the most fun. Yeah. Are you going to go back to vocals? I did for a little bit. In, in part of that, I did. I have two like side project things on the go that are not related to anything I do as Odie. And, but I don't know. One of them has vocals. One of them doesn't. And take that and do with it what you will. Take it with but that's all I can really say exciting. about it. I'm trying to do a punk side project. Yeah. Like like Young Lean has Dodmark. Yeah. That fucking shit slaps. Um, Cause I play drums. I've been playing drums for ten years. Word. And I just need like like other people that play instruments. I can play the bass. Do we have a lot of people that play instruments? I got a hell of people that play guitar. I'm getting pretty decent at piano. Piano's underrated. There yeah, you go. Really yeah. hard. That shit's hard. It really is. I could play one song on the piano as a kid, and I don't remember the song. Is it Black Parade? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think I learned how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb in my music class, but it was all single notes. There was no chords or anything. <laughs> That's a fucking slap right there. It's a fucking <laughs> slap right there. That's Put the it on the too. plug beat. Yeah, play a plug beat out. <laughs> That's like how I put. I almost put Fair Jaca in a song, and Dude, I didn't you did. even realize you it. You almost did put Fair Jaca in a song. <laughs> like the melody for Fair Jaca. Like I caught it. Like I don't know how the hell here. I caught it. How long did we sit here thinking about that? We were like, what is this? It was at least for 15 minutes. Like I was like, I, this is some traditional holiday song, and you stole it. It's in this. <laughs> 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 I can't believe that you just like interpolated Fair Shocker. Dude, it literally sounded just like it. 
But you need to send that to him, like, if oh, you I still will. have oh, it. I I, it. Dude, it's so... It made me And like that crackle. one that I told you I made off the fucking... What is it? Canon in D? You remember that one, Odie? Yeah, I remember when you were making that. <laughs> it's like a classical piano piece. And it's then one of the fun. songs you made, I I basically sing Duran Duran in the middle of it. Oh yeah, that's a song that's coming out later. <laughs> yeah, they're not ready for this. <laughs> they're not that's ready. Fun. I ran. No, I'm not gonna do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> not on the podcast. Don't do it. I'm almost out of coffee. Fuck. I drank mine a while ago. You know who's a good singer that like everyone forgets about. Young Liam. Very true. Like, Red Bottom Sky was amazing. Red Bottom Sky was really great. True it really is. Facts. Made me cry. Also, Corbin. Yeah, Corbin. Yeah. Dude, cool. I was talking about Corbin today. Dude, more than fucking hits. Dude, what's that singer that's totally underrated? What? Shit. Um. There's a couple that I know they're like, like my dude, uh, Stereo Jaeger, not even on like a gassing someone type level. He's very versatile. Um, who else? Did what I recently... about Baron? Wait, what's up? Baron. Baron. Okay. Yeah. I've heard, I've, I used to listen to him a little bit, but I haven't heard him in a long time. I put him in like in the same boat as Riverkin. If you know Holy shit! Is. I forgot about River Cup. Oh, yeah, shit. when I was doing music <laughs> early on, that was one. That was some of the people that like I mingled with. But then, I don't. It's like those are some of the people like you mingle with, and they slowly dissipate. I don't know. It's just like that whole music thing. It just happens. Yeah, I'm sure they're uh, they're based out of Ohio. I'm pretty sure Ohio has a lot of artists coming out of it right now. Ohio's always oh, had yeah. artists coming out of it. <laughs> like a lot of this thought- darker music. I think everything's starting to go towards the darker side. Probably now. the water in Flint. <laughs> yeah. It's made everybody sad. I don't think everybody's oh, going towards darker because you got like recently somebody showed me this dude named uh, Pink Sweats. That's the happiest man I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. But he's got some emotional music too. But he but he's got Pink Sweats on. He just looks happy. And then like. It's crazy. I can't even name anybody else. Another underrated singer is Usher. I forgot about him. He's from yeah. our city. No, he's fucking fire. Usher. Yeah, Usher. I used to listen to R. Kelly, Usher. but I can't speak on him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I literally deleted the only R. Kelly song I had on my Spotify playlist, and it was a feature he had with Young Jeezy. Dude, that song is fire. I already know what you're talking about. <laughs> Him and Usher had the song that came out song like oh seven. What was it? The same girl? Have you heard that with him and Usher? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, God, I can't even listen to that anymore. That's ruined, man. Everything is ruined. Usher has one. <laughs> Usher has a video out where he he's just he's singing so good, even with like new age sounds. But his whole entire music video is so cliche, like it's ridiculous. It's like him half flexing on like a car most of the time, like literally flexing his arms, not flexing, flexing. And then like there's a girl in the bed. Like it's such a cliche video. Like he did, he could have got crazy with it. I think the best thing that I've heard from him so far recently is probably the song with him and Young Thug. I thought that was pretty intense. I feel like I, I sl- that slipped up on me. I haven't heard you that. You gotta listen to it. It's All so right. far. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy how music around here is transformed. Because, like, we heard what we're listening to for the podcast. You guys familiar with Young Jock, right? Pac Man. We were listening to Pac Man for the podcast, weren't we? It's going down. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's going down. Me be in the club. It's going down. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Young Jock. Okay, yeah. Bro, his like, stuff like blue that. And it he, the yeah, side. he looks. <laughs> <laughs> it's y'all straight. Seen that? It's, oh, that's it's popping straight. up right now. <laughs> All right, they saw that shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Look that up. If you guys haven't seen that, look up Young Jock's new hair. It's he looks like a wild. soccer mom who just got into that, SoundCloud that, rap. That God. fucking blue shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the flip. 
Yes. Yeah, he's got a blue yes. flip on, man. It looks like he's got a toupee. He used to make he used to make songs like coffee shop and shit like that. Now, and some of the production that he had in his stuff is like stuff you could use now, but the flows and everything for like Atlanta music has completely changed. It, you can completely understand everything changed. that they would say 10, 10 years ago, five years ago that you could hear. Everything. It didn't even matter if they had slang, because I talk like they do now. Like this is how this is how like oh seven rappers would talk to music. Like it's just it's normally how I talk, and like you could just understand what they were saying on like every. It didn't even matter what the you could understand Lil Wayne back then. It didn't even matter if he was slurred. I think the greatest evidence of how much is changing is Ti, because if you've heard his recent <laughs> stuff, you can hear. How he's just been so influenced by all this new stuff, he can't even do his thing anymore. My only, <laughs> my only image of T.I. is him on the Eric Andre show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's so that funny. was so messed up. He did not fuck with any of that. <laughs> no, not one bit, man. <laughs> Fucking zombie came out the floor. <laughs> God, he, he th- I'm pretty sure he thought he was going to die right then. Oh, man. How many people in there you think, like, do you think they tell anybody beforehand and they're no, like, I don't they're think they down tell with anybody. it? Or you feel like the people that are comfortable have just seen other episodes, they're like, fuck it, let's just do this. Yeah, I think people have just seen. How do you get T.I. in there? I don't, they probably were just like, hey, this guy. He's probably cool with Hannibal. He's probably cool with Hannibal. And he's like, yeah, man, just come to the show real quick. We'll just hang out. We'll smoke they're... something <laughs> after. And then he got fucked up the whole yep. time. I bet they were probably just like, hey, there's a, a pretty big-ass talk show that's going on right now. You uh, Would you like to get some publicity, man? He's probably like, yeah, dude, I'll do anything yeah. for a check. Gets on yeah, there, and he's just completely show. discombobulated. <laughs> Jeez. Oh Holy fuck. That reminds me that of show. Soldier Boy's entire comeback right now. How do you guys feel about Soldier Boy's entire comeback right now? Just <laughs> another his headline. Title. <laughs> Tiger it's man, crazy. Would you guys you cop a, a console? console? Yeah, I was about to say, would you guys cop a console? Aren't they no, like, emulators? Uh, I think maybe I would. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, dude. Didn't he sue Fortnite? Actually, sue Fortnite for not putting his dance in. Like, actually, for real, sued for I not putting his dance in. Dude, I don't know. He came out with a video about it. That could, I mean, that still doesn't prove that it's true. But he's he's also just on those antics of doing insane shit. So you talk about it. <laughs> hey, Blockboy JB was suing him too. I don't know if I don't know if anything's happened about that. Yeah, like all the people that actually had dances in mm-hmm. there were suing. As soon as the first person did, they were all like, "Yeah, let's get this check." <laughs> that fucking backpack kid. I love it how he even went to a promotional thing. Dude, for yeah, that, he was he totally to fine with it. He's still he's still doing videos right now. People but he's are a kid, hitting though. him up. He shouldn't yeah, be like, allowed to sue. <laughs> dude, it's just not right. So Everything is not stupid. right right now. Nothing's We've entered correct. a really big hole in the Matrix. It's funny <laughs> that we could literally talk about any sub like big subsectional topic like that, and we could be like, it's fucked, dude. Everything's fucked. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it is. Like, everything is fucked, like... Everything in the news looks like an onion headline nowadays. Basically. That's gonna be the name of this podcast is Everything is Fucked with Goth Syria Slugged Up Hate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Everything yeah. is fucked up though, don't you agree? Yeah. I wouldn't say everything, but most the majority of things. of things are pretty fucked right now. Yeah. yeah, most things are absolutely because you don't even you don't even know half of the things you don't even with how much bullshit is in your head, how, mu- how many stories get thrown in your face, everything else, and with all the knowledge that you can take out of books, uh, reading however much, you're still not gonna know the real things that happen in the world. No, because like you're not meant to. There's so many cover up stories for things that you're never gonna know the truth about ever. Ever. Nope. And it's absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, poo poo. 
I don't want to end on a negative note. No, we're not. We're never ending on a negative <laughs> note. No. Okay, let's end on a really positive let's note. Let's end on Charlie, a super positive note. Put a picture of your cat on the screen right now. To okay, make picture happy. of my cat on the screen now with happy I'm music. Just making you edit. For I know shit. you're making me fucking. I gotta edit. So <laughs> you're trying to make me at the level of you. I'm gonna take three days to finish this video. Right? <laughs> Fuck. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. On the happy note. Since ever, we were talking about flying earlier, in the April, in the springtime, I should be in Canada visiting Odie. Hopefully, this here. man beside me will also be I'm there. I'm going, fuck. I'm going. That would be really I'm pulling, dope. And I'm pulling my seat over for you now. I'm yep, waiting. I'll be sitting there, bud. Oh, shit. That, that's so, so crazy. Good. That's so crazy. And then Danny is flying. When are you flying to Pennsylvania? Uh, June. So the everything, the good things are happening later. January may suck ass, but there's a lot of good things on the horizon for everybody. So mean. I've got two Every tapes year. coming. We got two tapes right here. We got Teen Witch on the way. And then what else you doing with Goth Syria? Uh, I'm going to kill Goth Syria soon. Okay, Where? he's going to kill Goth Syria. If you need <laughs> help hiding the body, I'm your Dude, guy. I got you. Oh. I've got <laughs> several, so like, I got you too. There you go, bud. We got you. We can hide these bodies. We do like a ritual. Killing, I mean, like, I'm going to change the yeah. I'm not going to stop. We'll Dude, of course. See, man. <laughs> Fuck you doing, Odie? Fuck. I don't know, man. I got nothing left up in my thinker tank. Man. <laughs> Mine's gone, too, so I'm going to fucking end it right here. I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for Leaf, man. Just be like, and with that. Anyway. <laughs> and that's the end of the podcast, guys. We will guys. see you fucking next time. I appreciate you hanging out with us, Kyle, Syria. Hell yeah. yeah Who's no eventually going to die and be okay. something else. Team Wiz. 2019 takeover. Here we go. Appreciate you hanging out, Odie. Appreciate you hanging out, Benji. Anytime. Anytime. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.